Okay, <clears throat> well, this football team coming to town uh, this week is, is uh, two Hail Marys away from being in the uh, national championship hunt. I mean, I don't think there's any question uh, uh, they're as good as they're perceived. I mean, they have a, a great running back. They have a great quarterback. They, they play defensive. I mean, they, 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 they play extremely hard and extremely well. Their offensive line is bigger than the Green Bay Packers. And, and I mean, they're, they're big guys that have, that have done, a, uh, done a great job. Quarterbacks come in and, and really uh, get – fit into their system and what they try to do uh, extremely well. Uh, with all those things being said, I mean, our football team is excited about this challenge. I mean, it's, it's a great challenge. I think, uh, uh, as, as I told them, there's no one, uh, you know, in this state or anywhere else that probably gives us an opportunity uh, to, to win. But that's, that's why they keep scoring. That's why you play the game. And, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go play and uh, uh, play the best of our ability. I want to make one thing clear uh, before we get going on here. Uh, this thing's about our football team. It's about the team that we're playing, about the things going on with our football team. It's not about me. It's not about my future. Uh, I think our fans and I think our players deserve that. And uh, if you feel compelled to, to, uh, you know, to, to talk about that, then, then my part will be over with. So with that being said, we'll go from there. Just group of seniors. Just kind of talk about them as, as a whole, what they meant to you. Well, they, you know, I, I think every senior group, you know, it's, it's really just talk to the team today and, you know, to hear some of the things that he said I thought was, you know, was, was really touching. And, you know, you try to, you know, everybody tries to live fast to get to the next thing. And, you know, Reed just told him, just like Corey told him and all those other guys told him, you know, guys say, enjoy this. This is something that, you know, yeah, we're going through some tough times right now, but that's that's what life's all about. And, you know, you just got to keep, uh, you got to keep, keep, uh, keep on keeping on. And, and uh, but, it, you know, there are a bunch of guys that uh, that have done a lot of things for the University of Illinois. And I think, uh, more importantly, I think what they feel about the University of Illinois is important. Uh, they love this place, and, and uh, has it gone exactly the way they wanted it to go all the time? No, but uh, they've also had some good things, and I think they've learned an awful lot about uh, the direction that uh, you know, that their life's going to go. You got some guys in this group like Troy and Jack Cornell that have kind of stuck stuck with it, kind of guys. I assume you you really appreciate that kind well, of. Well, the fifth year guys are guys that uh, you know Jack. Of course, Jack was going to Michigan State, and we were able to get him here. And you know, he's, as you, you're right, he's he's hung around here and and, and just been a guy that's. Uh, uh, not only been a, a a good football player for us, but he's also been a good leader this year. In particular, he's been a great leader and and a uh, you know, hard worker. And I, I was working in uh, in uh, Kent's office this summer, and uh, really, uh, I know Kent felt felt the world about him. He's just a good person. He's from a good family, and you know, it's you know, the, all of them are going to be sad to, to, sad to. Uh, you know, to, to, to see it go. I, to, I mean, ask Frank. I mean, I remember, you know, it, it goes so fast and, and then it's over and you know, then you, you're like, what do you do now? So, uh, but but I, I think that's the one thing that, you know, anytime you have a, you know, senior day, it's 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 hard. It's hard for them. It's hard for everybody. Did you remind Regis that he didn't have a senior day? Well, Regis did mention that he wished he'd have stayed. So, uh, but that's neither here nor there either. Nothing we can do about that now anyway. After Derek missed the kick at Penn State, what did you have? Did you have to talk to him, or, or what did you do to try to prop him up after that miss? Well, you know, you talk to him, yeah. But I mean, I, I think once again, uh, uh, he missed the kick. You know, he, he you know could have won the game, yeah, could have tied the game, and. You know, but but the, once again, I think that's that's the that's the life of a kicker. That's the, you know, you get one opportunity, you get one chance, and uh, but I, you know, it doesn't it doesn't change how I think about Derek. It doesn't change how the t how good a kicker Derek is, and, and what he's done at the at the University of Illinois. He's had a great career here, and you know, has he gotten as many opportunities this year as he as he'd like? Probably not. Uh, but but you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, it's like I tell him all the time in a kicking situation. Uh, it's not all the kicker. I mean, it's the protection, it's the snap, it's the holder. All those things have to kind of go into effect. And, and when somebody somebody doesn't do exactly what they need to do, um, you know, then then you know, obviously you don't get the results that you want. But I, I don't think I think Derek is is a, is a guy that's mature enough and, and and got enough confidence in his ability that uh, he knows what he can do. Is he a guy that can do this on Sundays in the NFL? I think so. You know, once again, I mean, you know, there's only 32 of those guys in the world, and it's getting the opportunity and to be in the right place at the right time. And you know, when when you get in that opportunity, you get in that place, then you you know you, you know you, you got to make things happen. But I mean, he's he's pretty good in my book. He's kicked in the wind, he's kicked in the rain, but he's never kicked in snowballs. <laughs> well, it's first time for everything. This quarterback that's coming in Saturday, Russell Wilson. What do you see in him, and how do you uh, uh, prepare? Oh, no. How do you prepare for him? 
Well, I mean, he's, he, he's uh, you know, what, if you look at them as their first and second down team, I mean, they're a lot like an NFL team. You know, they're going to play action, they're going to run the football, play action percent, uh, they're probably 40% play action. Uh, but he's just, a, you know, obviously a very, very talented guy, very, very mature guy. I mean, here's a guy who's played in the National or the, uh, Professional Baseball League. He's an older guy. Uh, you know, he understands, you know, all the – what big games are all about. And, and uh, you know, he's a great player. But, I mean, I, once again, I go back to, you know, our guys, they want to play great players, and they're going to get the opportunity. This quarterback and this running back are, are, are really, really good players. And, and uh, uh, But he's a guy that can do it all.